My dear brothers and sisters, this is not what you intend to achieve. History will judge me wrong and will be harsh to me if I sit idle by and say nothing and do nothing. We will not allow this democracy to be truncated. We know there are few who felt that our common patrimony should go to them alone. And if that will not happen, they are ready to end Nigeria. We will not allow them that opportunity. We will not allow the bitter past and unkind history to repeat itself. 1966 is a bitter history. We will not allow it to repeat itself again in Nigeria. We will not allow this uprising, legitimate demand to snowball into crisis where we will face a situation of anarchy and invite men in the uniform to take over. We will not allow that. And I invite those at the lovers of Nigeria to come together and streamline our demands and support this government because President Muhammad Buhari loves all of us. I can say that from the bottom of my heart. He needs support of the young ones. You have a voice in me. Don't listen to those hiding, claiming that there's no leadership in this NSAS movement. If there's no leadership in the NSAS movement, I volunteer to be that leader who will push down all of our demand and make sure it is met. Support the government, encourage our law enforcement agencies, the police, and all of them to return back to work and do the needful and curb these crimes and criminality that are staring at our faces. And I will urge thereafter all of us to return back home and engage government at all levels. My dear brothers and sisters, it is often said that we all believe that we have no any other country other than Nigeria. We will not allow those that have benefited from this country because of quest for power hide under these legitimate demands and set ourselves against each other. Roads were blocked. No access to various other facilities. A pregnant woman and the baby died. A lot of youth have been killed. A lot of government facilities and properties have been destroyed. It is still the same taxpayers' money that will be used to fix them. Lives that are lost cannot be regained again. Let us not do what is even worse than what the SARS did to us. Two wrongs, they say, can never make a right. Here in Kogi said, I am leading. The youths are in power here. The youths are gone. We picked up the various pieces of what we met on ground and were making headway. Kogi youths can bear me witness. And ultimately, God is bearing me witness. I urge my colleagues, governors, to take charge in their various states and ensure there is law and order. This is what we swore to protect. Defend the Constitution, protect lives and livelihood. We must not renege and fail in this responsibility. 
God bless Kogi State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you all.